What happened to Warzone Mobile? Now, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is a game that has been talked about for many years now, but it is still not released. Now, I made a bunch of videos in the past going over Call of Duty Warzone Mobile's release date, and also how to download the game as well. We don't have the official global launch yet, but we do have a beta version of it. And I did tell you guys exactly how to download that, and you're still able to play that to this day. But we're currently in the middle to end of October 2023, and we still do not have Warzone Mobile. The game was actually supposed to release this November, which would have been in a few weeks time. But unfortunately, guys, it has gotten delayed once again. I'm sure you guys have heard of this news. It's been out for like a couple of weeks now. When I first heard about this news i was shocked once again because we were all expecting this game to come out this november and now it has gotten delayed even further so now the new release date of warzone mobile is spring of 2024 yes spring of next year that is a very long time and apparently the month is going to be march to june of next year so anywhere between March and June of next year is when the game is going to be globally releasing, which is five to eight months from now. So yeah, we're going to have to wait five to eight months for Warzone Mobile to globally release at the time of this video going live, which is pretty crazy because we all thought the game would release in November, which is a few weeks from now. But I'm going to tell you guys exactly why this isn't as bad as you might think. Let's go back to Apex Legends Mobile. Now, Apex Mobile was a game that released in May of 2022, and the long launch of the game was actually pretty good like the first few weeks of launch went really really great and the game was really really playable for like the first couple weeks like i said but then after that there was a lot of glitches a lot of bugs a lot of issues in the game and the player base eventually died out and what ended up happening the game shut down not even a year after it has released and with all these new titles coming out like warzone mobile the developers of these games are actually afraid to go ahead and publish these games because of what happened with apex mobile apex mobile wasn't 100 percent finished a lot of people were saying they said it could have had a lot more development before it was published globally and warzone mobile they don't want to have a failed game at all so they're just pushing it back to go ahead and make sure the game is the best it can possibly be let's say the game is like a 7 out of 10 right now they want to get that thing up to a 10 out of 10 before they globally launch the game like apex mobile was only like a 8 out of 10 it was really really solid at the launch but if you guys were unfamiliar with the history of apex mobile what ended up happening was a few weeks after launch there was this glitch where it was like a bunny hopping problem apparently it was this trick with the joystick where you're able to bunny hop infinitely around the map and that was destroying the game a few people mastered it they were just destroying everyone in the lobby and it was a broken mechanic and they never fixed it for like months and months and months which I don't know why they took that long to fix that glitch. Maybe it was hard to fix or they just didn't care. Either way, that cannot happen in a game because all of the players eventually stopped playing. The game died out and it left a very, very bad first impression on people who downloaded the game. Like imagine you download the game for the very first time, you log on, you have a horrible gameplay experience. There's a bunch of hack. Oh yeah, hackers as well. Ha there were so many hackers in Apex Mobile awful launch of the game like people will be freaking teleporting across the map you got like aim botters all this crap right imagine you download a game for the very first time you start playing it and you go up against hackers all these cheaters people bunny hopping moving around the map exploiting broken in-game mechanics like you will not have a good experience and you're gonna just delete the game and you're never gonna play it again even if like five months later they say hey we fixed all these issues most people don't care most people who download the game they're gonna give it one shot and one shot only if they get a bad first impression you know they're not going to play the game anymore. And that is exactly what the Warzone mobile developers do not want to happen. They want to make sure the first experience for these new players is incredible. So that is why I actually think Warzone mobile taking its time should be seen as a good thing. Yeah, I know it sucks. We don't have a game to play right now. And we were all excited for Warzone mobile releasing in November of this year. But we're just going to have to be patient and wait a little bit longer. It's going to be releasing next year around springtime. There has been exact dates thrown around, but I don't want to there any exact dates because they're not going to be true they're misleading there's no exact date there was an exact date on the app store like november of this year exact date i think it was like the 16th or something like that i honestly do not know but they had an exact date and that didn't happen and the developers themselves they don't know an exact date it's not like oh it's going to be march 15th like they do not know they want to get ready and get this game out as soon as possible but they're going to need a little bit longer it's going to be around five to eight months longer on this game and hopefully they actually release it in the spring of next year because that would be amazing 
hope it does not get delayed until like you know the end of next year but we just got to be patient and make sure that they deliver the best game possible and they take their time with it this is really all the information around warzone mobile yes it has been delayed but you guys can still play the game right now using a vpn i do have a tutorial down below linked in the description it's going to be a youtube short teaching you exactly how you can download and play warzone mobile really really quickly i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave a like subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video